Hi Great Geese, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to go over one of the lessons you might need help with. So, this lesson I'm going to talk about is on Monday and it's your IPC lesson. Now, I want you to talk about what you did on the weekend. Now we've done this plenty of times in the class, so you should be familiar with what to do. But this time, I want you to add in what materials you used on the weekend. So, in your blue book, I want you to write five sentences what you did on Saturday and maybe a few of what you did on Sunday. So, before I go over what I did, just remember always spaces in between words. Okay? If there's no spaces, you won't be able to read it and it won't make sense. Two, if you've written your sentence, you don't stop and then write a new one, you keep on writing. For example, I have written a sentence, okay, I keep going and I have stopped and I have carried on. I haven't stopped and made a new line. I haven't stopped and skipped a line and then started again. I have kept going, so I want you to try and do the same, please. So let's go through what I did on Saturday. So I've titled the work, by the way, this should be in your blue book, okay? So I've titled the piece of work, My Weekend. On Saturday, I woke up and had breakfast. Now remember, your capital letters, Saturday is also capital because it is a day. After that, I played football in my garden. But, had to stop because it was too hot. The football was made of rubber, so I have added in one of the materials I used on the weekend, rubber. In the afternoon, I went to buy food from the shops. I carried the food home in a plastic bag. Again, I've added what material I used, a plastic bag. In the evening, I had pasta for dinner and it was delicious and I've used an exclamation mark at the end. So that is what I did on Saturday. It is about five lines. You could do the same, you could do more. What did you do on Sunday? Now remember, capital letters. I've used a comma. Remember what we talked about in the class. Try and use and or but in your sentences with a comma. Remember to put in when you did it, okay? So on Saturday, I woke up and had breakfast, okay? Then I played football. But when did I do it? I did it after breakfast. Then after football, I went to buy food from the shop. When did I buy food from the shop? In the afternoon. Okay, if you don't put that in, when do I know when you have done it? And at the last bit, I made, I had some dinner. When did you have dinner? Did you have dinner in the morning? No, I had dinner in the, uh, in the evening. Okay, I had dinner in the evening. Now I have done five lines. If you want to do more, you can do more. I have only done Saturday. You could do Sunday. You could actually do Monday, Tuesday. Well, you could do every day if you have time. If you can add in an exclamation mark, try. 
I've seen plenty of you do it in the classroom, so I think you can do it at home too. Remember, this is what you did on the weekend, but with a twist, I want to see what materials you used. You don't have to say all the materials you used. I have just said that the football was made of rubber and the bags were made of plastic. Remember, when you have finished, read it over. If you don't read it over and you show your mummy and daddy, they might see mistakes. So read it over, like I tell you in the class, when you read it over, you, you always find mistakes before I do. I think that's all. I think that's enough for you to get started. Now, you've done it in the class, like I said, plenty of times. So, give it a go. Okay? All right. One more thing then. So that's Monday's lesson. Now we're going to go over Friday's lesson, which is right at the back in Friday's, in Friday's lesson. Now I've sent you home all a colouring sheet that looks like this. Now I have used all of my favourite colours and coloured it in very nicely. And then I found a box. I found a box in my house. Now I'm going to use this as a recycling bin. Okay? I have just used a cardboard box that I found. You could use a plastic box, you could use a shoe box, you could use anything that you can put your recyclables in. Um, so, in here already I have a piece of paper that I recycled. I have a water bottle that I used yesterday. I have a plastic bag. This is from when I went to the shop. I put my plastic bag in here. Now when you've got all your recyclables in there, you can, you can reuse them or you can recycle them. There's lots of places in Pen on Pen you can take all of your recycled waste and put it in the recycling bins. They are around Pen on Pen. You can look at Google, um, type in Pen on Pen recycling bin and you should find a place near you. That's all from me. I hope that's enough to get you started on Monday's lesson and Friday's lesson. I hope you were well. Remember to do exercise. Um, if you have any questions about this work or any of the other work, please send in your messages to the Bluebird Facebook page. So, Greg Geese, for this week's phonics, your digraph is going to be OR. And again, OR. Now you have done this digraph before, so we're just going to review it. So throughout the week, you're going to be given worksheets in your booklet, which you've seen before. So you need to do them, and they should be fairly easy for you to do. For Friday's lesson, I want you to go to your blue book and think of all the OR words the all words you know and write sentences for all of them. So I will go over what I have done just to help you. So I have thought of the word pork. P or k pork. And I have written a sentence that says I had pork and rice for breakfast. So, you can think of more OR words and write them down in your blue book. Remember spaces, remember capital letters, remember full stops. If you can use exclamation marks and commas, fantastic. If you can't, maybe try and think of one. Be a risk taker, even if you find it hard. Now that is Friday's lesson. Now, if you have finished all that really quickly and you want more, you can make an OR poster. 
you can make the poster however you want it to look. It's your poster. There's no right or wrong. So, I have drawn or in the middle. I have made it look a bit messy, but I put 3D on it. I've, that's how I like to draw. Now, I have only done three, and I've drawn pictures to go with them. Now, this is supposed to be someone running, and he likes sport. Sp or sport. I have a fork that is supposed to be a fork, but as you know, I'm not the best drawer. So, maybe try and draw a better fork. And doctor. I don't know if it looks like a doctor, but I'm sure you can draw a better doctor for me. So, if you've done that, I would love to see some pictures of your posters. So please send them in to the Bluebird Facebook page and I will be able to see all of your lovely work. Okay? Thank you, Greg Geese. I hope you're having a good week. Okay? Bye!